Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So now we have completed all the Docker file instructions, whatever the uh, available. So now let's try to do a sample thing. Okay, so we have told you about the non-root user using the user thing, right? So you need to understand that whenever you are trying to start the container, okay? So you create the container and you under, you, you need to understand that whatever the, whatever the commands you are running, uh, there should be run as a that should be run as a non root user it should not be a root user so that means nothing but root why because so root user will have a super user privileges and when we try to run the container using that one so it may damage our operating system and it will damage the application the commands what we are trying to do so always whenever you are trying to create the container or create build the image or anything so create the user and try to run the commands using that user okay so where it depends on the requirement okay so that is nothing but so that is the thing so now what we will try to do it is so we will try to start the nginx application okay as a non and run the nginx application as a non root user okay nginx application as a non root user so that means what we need to do so here the first step what we need to do it is so our requirement so let's try to analyze our requirement what is our requirement is we need to take Ubuntu 22.04 as base image okay so now um, let's say that uh, uh, expose the port or the port should be 80 only we'll keep it as 80 only I don't want to take 80 or anything so port should run by default 80 only and the another one what we need to do it is so we are so create the volume and for the directory that is nothing but slash where slash www slash html so we are creating a dynamic volume so we'll try to learn about the storage in the next uh, video series just i am trying to tell you and we have to and we need to install the nginx okay nginx now what we need to do it is so here create a user with name leela okay and run the nginx application in the container with non root user that is leela user so this is the this is our requirement so now we need to start a requirement so using this requirement we need to build the application so let's try to build the image and we need to create the container so let's try to create a new docker file and create it now here i have started the application okay let's open this mobile extem so that i can able to log in into this one and here i am trying to logging in so this is our requirement now hope you understood about all the commands and all those things so now i am create i am logging into this one so hopefully you will be able to log in i will i will create the docker file from first onwards so that you can able to understand it very easily so this is our code and here I will go to the CD custom images okay and here if you try to check the ls so you will be able to see a docker file I will remove this docker file rm docker file okay I have removed this one so ls ifnl if you try to check so you will be able to see that only docker file is not it. so now I am creating a docker file from first onwards docker file okay so now from first onwards I am writing so first I will take the arg and I will take the base version is equal to 22.04 just I am taking it like this and from the base image that is nothing but Ubuntu and we can use the base version okay and the another one what we need to do it is so here we need to run the command apt hyphen get update ampersand ampersand apt hyphen get install hyphen y nginx and also curl to check the health check so these two commands I am running okay and uh, what we need to do so that's it so you can create an entry point just we'll try to check entry point oh sorry entry point nginx we have installed it right and i will be using the command nginx okay and hyphen g so i will use it like this only or otherwise you can use the command okay here i can use daemon off that's it now at the last so we need to expose the port to 80 so let's try to use the expose 80 and at last I will check the health check 
that is nothing but health check oh, sorry health check command i need to use the curl command hyphen f okay and http localhost localhost if it doesn't work means exit with one that's it so now let's try to stop it and i will create the i will build the image docker image build hyphen t uh, let's try to keep the name ubuntu hyphen demo only uh, ubuntu hyphen demo only. so we are accustomed to this one and i am creating a custom image let's say i am trying to build the image so it is telling okay the spelling mistake for that one let's try to open this one and here i will be going on to this one entry point so i have written the mistake so let's try to build the image now it will start building the image it may say it may take some time depending on that one so now it is creating now so it will it may take some time so it will create the it will install the inject curl and all those things it will do it now what we need to do here so we have uh, i will try to show you so now the things what we have understood is in this one so we have took the ubuntu as the base image and we are exposing the port to the et and we haven't created the volume we will create the volume and we are installing the nginx and this one is pending and we are running the application in the container with root with the user with non root user but right now we are running the root user only i'll try to show you so now we need to create the volume that one also will try to complete so it is it will take some time let's try to see let's try to see so the image has been built now let's try to create the container so before that one docker container rm hyphen f ubuntu hyphen demo if it is existing i am deleting this one so let's try to create the new one so that is nothing but let's see whether we can able to get that one command or not yeah so now we are trying to root this one ubuntu hyphen demo ubuntu hyphen demo so this is the container let's try to create it so we have created the container now if i want to enter into this one docker exec hyphen ti okay mm, hyphen ti and i want to go to the ubuntu hyphen demo and the thing is bash so now we so now if you try to see by default we have entered this one as the root user so if you try to check who am i so i went into i, I entered into the container as a root user so we should not allow the user when you are trying to enter into the container as a root user so we need to create a new user leela and that leela needs to be entered so not the root user so we need to do that one and if you try to check the present means so you can do whatever you want so if you want to create a touch leela dot txt means whatever you want you can do it okay so touch leela dot txt means you can able to create it without any problem so that means he has full super power user power privileges now when a hacker or user any when enters into the container they will log in it as a root user and they can do whatever they want so we should not enter should not make them make the container enter as a root user we need to always enter it as a non root user so that means the command which we are trying to run that ngx command daemon so uh, let's try to exit it so docker container ps if you try to check the D, the command which is trying to run so it should not it should not run it as a master so for example let's say that if i enter here okay so ps aux grep nginx the master process who is running this one is so the user running is the root user right so we it is running is the root user so we should not make this command run by the root user instead it should be run by the another user that is nothing but leela so let's say that so that is a new user which we need to create so he has to run this one so root should not be run so for this for making that uh, leela user to run this one so we need to make uh, necessary changes for this one so let's try to do the changes before that what i will try to do it is so i am trying to exit this one so let's go to the docker file okay and we need to create the volume also right so let's try to create the volume and here i am creating the volume and i want to do var slash www slash html that's it so this is the volume and what i want to do so here i need to create a new user okay so here run so here i will create a group first group add hyphen g leela and i want to add this user user add and i want to create a directory home directory to this guy and i want to add uh, to this one to the group 
Leela. Okay. And we need to create a directory in such a way that slash home slash Leela. So this is the directory he need to have. That's it. So this is the user which we are trying to create. Uh, that's it I think that's the only thing we can create it let's try to see okay now what I will try to do it is okay we need to write the username also the username is nothing but Leela so here this is the group I want to add that user and this is the user which I am trying to create and the command which we need to run is nothing but use the command the entry point command needs to be run by Leela that's it so now first what we are trying to do I am creating a new group Leela and I'm adding that user to the group Leela and I'm creating a home directory for hyphen M means create the directory if it doesn't exist and the directory should be home slash Leela I'm maintaining and the user is Leela. So that means we are creating a new user Leela and we are adding it to the group Leela and I'm creating a group if it doesn't exist. So that's it. So now let's try to exit this one and I will try to build this image. Let's try to build this image. So I am building this image. Let's try to see. So now we are getting some error it is saying that unable to solve hyphen group uh, user hyphen g uh, did not complete successfully so something problem came let's try to invalid group id leela it is saying so okay fine okay so that means so i understood so if you are trying to add a group means so there is no need to mention hyphen g here you can check it in the google or something like that that's not a problem so this is the build i am trying to do it it may take some time now it is creating the user so group has been created and the user has been added to that group and a home directory is also been assigned to this one fine so let's try to delete the container which we are having okay where is that container deletion yeah so i have deleted the container let's try to create a new container using this build only so now i am creating a new container so now we have built it now let's try to see check the status of this one ps hyphen a now it has been exited with the status code of one so we don't i don't know why it has been exited actually it should be running now if i try to check the logs for this one docker container logs and that is nothing but ubuntu hyphen demo now you will be able to see that permission has been denied so that means the user which we are trying to make it or the user which we are trying to run it so it has been uh, permission has been denied so it, it is unable to create a uh, mkda are unable to open this uh, var slash nginx so these all the folders it doesn't have any access so that means in order to make this one work we need to provide the user leela these all the access so let's try to provide these all the access so that it can able to execute so i will try to do it in the next video hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you